budgeting analysis. First, we need to know what is the meaning of budget. Budget is a detailed plan or financial control tool or financial planning tool. All these terms are equal, expressed in numbers to show the resources of the company and how to spend it at specific period of time, usually one year. What are the differences between budget and financial statement? Budget, all information are estimated or expected or looks into the future. But financial statement, all information are uh, actual or historical. Budget, prepare at the beginning of the year but financial statement prepared at the end of the year budget prepared by managerial accountant but financial statement prepared by financial accountant there are two types of master budget operating budget and financial budget operating budget focus on what resources needed but financial budget focus on from where to get the resources that mean cash to fund expected operation operating budget includes sales budget production budget manufacturing costs budget this consists of material budget direct labor budget overhead budget and financial budget include budget income statement budget balance sheet budget cash flow and capital expenditure budget we must prepare master budget in this sequence sales budget at first second production budget third manufacturing cost budget material and direct labor and overhead then selling and administrative expense financial budget uh, at the end consists of cash flow income statement and balance sheet we will start with operating budget how to prepare operating budget first step we made sales budget sales budget prepared by sales manager and managerial accountant step two prepare production budget production manager and managerial accountant responsible for preparing production budget step three uh, we made material budget purchase manager who is responsible for preparing material budget step four direct labor budget made by HR or human resource manager step five overhead budget now we will know how sales budget is prepared exercise number one uh, january one sales manager estimated sales for ten thousand units we put important given between brackets or in square like this or highlighted february estimated sales 12,000 units March estimated sales 15,000 units and April estimated sales for 11,000 units selling price per unit is $25 required prepare sales budget for the first quarter what is the meaning of first quarter the first three months of the year January February March if the required is prepare sales budget for second quarter, second three months of the year, second April, May, June, and so on. To prepare sales budget, we made the table consist of four column and three row. First, 
January, February, March, and here unit sold multiply by selling price per unit to obtain sales budget for, for each month. From the exercise, January unit sold are ten thousand dollar. This given February twelve thousand units March fifteen thousand units multiply by selling price per unit twenty five for three months we obtain total sales Ten thousand multiplied by twenty five dollar equal twenty five thousand and so on. Now we will know how production budget is prepared. From the previous example, we will add beginning inventory of January. 14,000 units as given and the company policy to keep 1.4 times next month's sales as ending inventory required prepared production budget for the first quarter first quarter we know January and February and March To prepare production budget, we made table like this, consists of four columns and three rows. First, we get unit sold from the given at exercise at January. Sales manager estimates sales for 10,000 units. For February, sales manager estimates sales for 12,000 units. At March, the manager estimates sales for 15,000 units. Then we adding ending inventory. How we get ending inventory? In the exercise, the company policy should keep 1.4 times next month's sales as ending inventory. For January, ending inventory. 1.4 multiply by next month's sales January 12,000 units like this we get ending inventory for January 60,800 for February ending inventory 1.4 the next month's sales 15,000 units we get Ending inventory for February 21,000. March ending inventory 1.4. The next month's sales 11,000. April we get it from the exercise at a given. Then we subtract beginning inventory. How we get beginning inventory beginning inventory of months January equal 14,000 as given in the exercise we put it between brackets because we will subtract it February beginning inventory for February is the beginning inventory for January and March beginning inventory of March equal ending inventory of February like this so we will subtract 26,800 from 14,000 we get 12,800 and so on we will note that beginning inventory of February equal ending inventory of 
January, beginning inventory of March, equal ending inventory of February. How much is the beginning inventory for April? It will be equal ending inventory of March, 50,400. Units produced for the first quarter will equal units produced for January plus units produced for February plus units produced for March. Now we will prepare direct material budget. Exercise the company need 3 kilo of material for each unit. Cost per kilo is one dollar. The company policy to keep at the end of each month 50% of next month's production material inventory at end of December 90,200 kilo required prepare required prepare direct material budget for the first quarter To prepare direct material budget, we made uh, this table consist of four uh, column and uh, three rows. Uh, first, we get unit produced from production budget, previous production budget. January unit produced uh, 12,800 and February 16,200, March 9,400. Uh, in this exercise, is the company needs three kilos of material for each unit. Three kilos of material for each unit. We multiply uh, 12,800 by three kilos of material. We get um, uh, 38,400 and so on. We add adding ending inventory. How we get ending inventory? In uh, the exercise, uh, the company policy to keep at the end of each month 50% of the next month's production. The company policy to keep at each month 50% of the next month's production. Here, at January, next month's production. For the eight thousand six hundred, multiply by fifty percent to get ending inventory for January. To get ending inventory for February, the next month's production twenty eight thousand two hundred, multiply by fifty percent to get ending inventory for March. We will get the next month April. From the evening, previous evening, unit produced 11,000, multiply by 3 kilos, we get 33,000 unit production. Ending inventory of March, 33,000 of unit production, the next month, multiply by 50% Then we will subtract the beginning inventory from the exercise Material inventory of ending December Ending December is beginning of January is 19,200 and Beginning of February is ending of June and beginning of March is ending of February. Now we will subtract this from this. We get material purchased. The next time we will carry on with the rest of chapter.